Wonderful ball. Sensational header. Ronaldo's a cup winning goal for Real Madrid. Jose Mourinho's first silverware in charge of Los Blancos. That is the runners up plate for tonight for Barcelona. Unusual territory for them of late. Pep Guardiola will be graceful as ever. Graceful in defeat, as he always is in victory, that is for sure. Rafa Benitez, Guillaume Balaguer's studio guest tonight. But this is uncharted waters in recent times for Barcelona. Do you worry the effect this might have on them? In my opinion, Guardiola is clear. He knows that, uh, and Guillaume was uh, saying before, maybe for Barcelona will be a bit careful. So I think that will be uh, something that they have to consider for the Champions League. I don't think that they they will be surprised in the Champions League now. And what's, what's clear as well is that you have to have faith in Barcelona. Before this one, it was six finals, six victories. It was eight, eight uh, competitions they won out of ten. It's eight out of eleven. They know how to compete and you have to be mentally strong to just overcome anything that comes your way. There are critics of his style. Alfredo de Stefano has been one, criticising the approach of Real Madrid. To what extent does this win endorse that? We'll ask Rafa and Guillaume in just a moment, but Los Blancos are making their way up the stairs and towards royalty to lift the cup. Let's go back to Jerry and Kevin. This will feel very special for these Real Madrid players who have been playing catch-up on their eternal rivals and even despite this cup win Jerry continue to play catch up but how much pressure not only off the players but on Mourinho is this win tonight well to beat Barcelona that's fantastic achievement in itself you know everybody's saying they're invincible they can't be beaten well Mourinho's proven that theory wrong now tactically he got it right and uh, it's taken the pressure totally off him and the players and he can melt it now he can make the players say look this is what we've done here We've got a two game tonight, home and away, and we've proven we can do it, we can beat them, and they will have renewed faith, renewed belief in their own ability. They've got quality players, they've got tactics, they've got a stronger squad as well. We could see that with the strength and depth of what they brought on in the second periods of extra time. And fitting in many ways that Cristiano Ronaldo was the match winner, seven goals in eight ties in his debut in the Copa del Rey this season. Yeah, well... 42 goals this season, he's really surpassed himself and he's going to score some more, you know that. There's going to be a great battle between him and Lionel Messi. One goal separates the two of them for the uh, the Pichichi title. But uh, there's so much still for Barcelona to play for and Real Madrid. Champions League, I have to say. Because has made some very big saves again, Kevin, tonight. Zinedine Zidane there, just Zidane. ahead of uh, <laughs> Jose Mourinho who has now completed a set of domestic cups in Portugal, England, Italy and Spain. So his first job in Spanish football does yield a trophy. And bringing up the rear, the Real Madrid captain, Iker Casillas. The last time he lifted a trophy, it was the biggest one of all in South Africa. This will feel very sweet. His own collection of medals now complete with his first Copa del Rey success. Well, that man as well, Florentino Perez, it takes a lot of the pressure off him. You know, he's brought Mourinho in on the crest of a wave and there is the trophy being presented now to Iker Casillas. And he wants not only the entire Mestalla to see it, but the rest of the world. The King's Cup belongs to Real Madrid. That's great scenes, fantastic. And this will lift them so much. The players, the fans, the manager, all the backroom staff. This is what they needed. And Ronaldo, it was fitting that he he got the winning goal. He's been the outstanding player this season for Real Madrid and last season. It needed extra time, and it was decided by the head of Cristiano Ronaldo. The 2011 Copa del Rey final finished Barcelona nil, Real Madrid won. Real King's Cup champions, one perhaps not in the style 
usually associated with Real Madrid's glorious history. Rafa, you have emotional connections to this club. Does that matter that they haven't won it in the traditional Real Madrid way? Before we were talking about some critics and then comments, but uh, at this point I thought they were just thinking about we have to win, that's it. And so therefore it's acceptable to play this way against Barcelona and in a different way against all other teams? I think for the fans that are now in Mestalla, they will be really happy. So each one uh, will have his own opinion, but at the end of the day the fans uh, will say, oh, we are happy with the trophy. Buys Jose a little more breathing space, doesn't it? No, I mean, before this cup, Real Madrid looked like a team that can win things. And that was the main target this season. The idea was, let's look like we can win it. Still a very young team, one of, according to Jose, one of the youngest in the history of Real Madrid. And then build a platform for next season. He has already signed two players for next season and he knows where the weaknesses are. In the meantime, if you manage to get a title like this, that's great. But there is, he's managed to do Real Madrid his own club. Now he's on run by the chairman, Jose Angel Sánchez, which is like a managing director, Sisu and him. Those are the guys that run Real Madrid at the moment, that take the big decisions. So it doesn't matter what would have happened here, but it does help, as you say, to reinforce that you can play, even though you're Real Madrid, you can't play this way against Barcelona. Don't do it against anybody else, though. So, Rafa, it's legitimate to, to play this way, to stem the flow of Barca's dominance in the game, and then, then perhaps change your philosophy. Does he have to change it eventually? To be fair, I have a different opinion than Guillem. I think that Ramadi has been always playing really well. No, normally, they were dominant. But it's true that Barcelona is a very, very strong team. So, to play against them in a, in a style or do the one, it's not easy. You need to know your players, you need to know if you can do it. And I thought, OK, they decide to do it in this way. Uh, you said before, no, uh, we have to see the, the Champions League. It will be very, very interesting to see what happens in the Champions League. It will be interesting to see what Barcelona have learned about Real Madrid. Have they learned that Real cannot play in that aggressive style that we saw early on in the game for more than 45 minutes? Is that what they will take out of tonight? We'll get Rafa and Guillaume's thoughts on that because they were dominant from the 45th minute on. Yet, it's Los Blancos that have won Spain's King Cup. We'll look ahead to the Champions League in just a moment.